Early in the 20th century, farmers were still shucking corn by hand. In 1909, the first mechanical corn picker was introduced, and by the 1920s, one- and two-row pickers powered by tractors were gaining popularity, eventually leading to the first self-propelled picker in 1946. But the greatest breakthrough came in 1956 with the introduction of a corn attachment for combines. A corn hender is an attachment that goes on the front of the combine that actually separates the cob from the stock. While the corn header made the process of combining corn more efficient, it also came with significant losses. Each year, farmers lose thousands of bushels of corn due to shatter loss. Basically, when the corn kernels get really dry on the cob, they, they break off really easily. And so when you're cruising through that field and your rollers are pulling those stalks down, it, and that ear hits the, the deck plates, the bottom of it shatters. And so basically what, what you have there is the kernels, they, they kind of fly everywhere. Some of them even hit the windshield of the combine. And so basically the, the kernels in the past, just a lot of them just fall right through the head because the heads aren't designed to capture the kernels. Backed by extensive field tests, the patented Operation Harvest Sweep System can help retain shatter loss by roughly 85%. It started back in 2011. Uh, we had a really bad shatter loss year um, when we were combining. There was nothing on the market that would actually collect the corn shatter loss. Uh, we were losing it through the bottom of the head. Uh, all the adjustments that uh, we tried to make just didn't stop it. So what we did is we came up with a solution that has three different components in it that actually helps us catch the corn shatter loss up to 85%. The numbers for your operation can vary from year to year, like I said, depending on the moisture of your crop, but I mean, you can easily put three to four more bushels per acre in your grain tank, and that can add up to 40, you know, with our acreage, it can add up to over $40,000 of more profit that goes into our you know, grain bins, and it improves our bottom line that way. Operation Harvest Sweep's patented deck plates and gathering chains are custom built to fit each corn header. Equipped with unique impact sweep pads for gentler corn handling, they help to reduce the total amount of shatter experience, retain kernel loss, and get the crop into the combine without sacrificing feeding logistics or increasing trash intake. So there's three different parts that come with the kit. Uh, the first is a set of deck plates. Um, our deck plates have a very unique patented edge on them. The second is custom chains, and the third is impact sweep pads. Well, I think the biggest feature of them is it allows the farmer, uh, the harvester, to have a complete adjustability in any condition in the field to accomplish the main objective, and that is to retain the, the kernels, the lost kernels. By reducing and retaining shatter loss, Operation Harvest Sweep puts more corn in the hopper, leaving less money on the ground. There's three main differences that we've noticed by putting the, the harvest sweep on our head. And one of them is with the deck plates, so the deck plates can capture that loss. The other one is the brush, so that the kernels have something pushing them into the head, you know, that, that's, that's cutting out those gaps that they usually fall through. And then the last one is the ramp that's, that's from the, the head to the auger trough, because before there's just like these stairs they have to climb. So those are the three main ways that it helps us capture more corn when it gets dry and, the, and the, it's breaking off the cob. You know, this has been a problem for 60 years. Um, we have drones flying in our field, taking pictures, uh, using special sensors, but yet we couldn't figure out how to hold the corn in our corn heads. And I guess, uh, you know, it was a hard problem to fix. There was logistics of, of feeding that we had to take into account, um, which our system runs effortlessly with that. And uh, we needed to be able to catch the kernels without affecting the feeding, and we've accomplished that. Each year, volunteer corn takes precious water and nutrients away from other crops, which can reduce yields by multiple bushels per acre. Also, when crop rotation is corn on corn, it causes an even larger problem, as there are very few chemicals available to kill stacked corn varieties. And when you have volunteer corn, it's, it's actually one of the worst weeds you can have. Uh, it causes the farmer to lose bushels. Uh, it, it, it utilizes the nutrients in the water and at the end of the day, it, uh, it costs you a lot of money. The whole idea of Harvest Sweep is to help the farmer uh, have a larger bottom line. Um, it's to 
uh, fix these issues that cost him a lot of money and to help his profitability. If we can add another two, three bushel an acre in production, you know, there's, there's parts of the world that are starving right now. Um, the biotech companies have, have spent billions on trying to increase corn yields by one to two bushel. If we can focus on just getting what's out there into the combine, um, I think there's, there's value to that. You know, the maintenance with Harvest Sleep is very, very minimal. Um, what's unique about what we do is the p components that we use is the best materials we can find. Um, example, the deck plates. We use a material called AR400, a very hard material. Uh, the longevity is, is phenomenal on them. The chains, uh, all of our chains are built in the USA along with the rest of our product. But what we've done with the chains is we've upgraded the pins to chrome molly. So what that does is it gives us another 15-20% longevity over OEM chains. So the maintenance is very minimal. Um, you know, the part that needs to be replaced depending on acres uh, per year is our bristles. Um, our bristles are very durable. We use a military grade plastic in them and they're very inexpensive to replace. So at the end of the day, it's a great investment, a great return on investment for the farmer.